It's five in the morning. It's time to get to Dublin. Dad's going to be driving on the way up, so, so it doesn't really matter that I'm getting up early. I can just go to sleep. And what a beautiful morning it is. Wake me up when we get there. Okay, Dad's got a business meeting to attend, and I've got a hard drive to go get fixed. All right, lads, we're here. I'm actually quite nervous about this whole thing. This is gonna be the ultimate decider. This will just tell me full stop of whether this data can be retrieved from the hard drive. Okay, well, it's in with the specialists. Just gotta wait and hope Wait for this call back. What's weird about this place is I used to live here actually. A little trip down memory lane. There's this big uh, track that goes around the river down there and I used to skateboard that almost every day at one stage. Trying to get to my house now without a skateboard in the car is proving to be a lot harder than on the skateboard. On the skateboard you could take all the different like little back alleys and, and dead ends and stuff like that. But in a car Dublin's traffic is all weird. Here we go. You arrived. All right, let's take a look, shall we? I remember trying to make videos while I lived in these houses. This is it right here. It's a tiny little house that I was renting. This is basically a door. And a window. You have the bedroom in there, and you had a tiny, you had a tiny kitchen, and then right next to here, there was like a sitting room with uh, no windows. I can't take a look in because they've got their blinds closed, as they usually would if you had a house right on the street. The gym, which is just over this wall here, was basically a 30-second walk. So I was getting swole. This is the building where I went to the gym, and just beyond that as well, again, 10 seconds from the gym. This is where I used to work. I used to be a barista slash dishwasher. Every time I think about that job, I kind of get the shivers. All along this road to my right is where I used to skateboard, and I got pretty fast as well. The roads are shit. <laughs> Do you know what else is shit? These paying displays. I parked re I parked really damn far from one of them. And do you know how much it is? One euro sixty. I don't have ten cent. They're hoping that I'm lazy enough that I'll just cough up two euro. No. no. I am not lazy. I will fight you. I am gonna go back, get my ten cent, walk all the way back, back, backed, and then walk back again. Dad, I am borrowing, borrowing a ten cent. Go on, take my money. That little walk saved me 40 cent, and I got some exercise in, because obviously I need that exercise. This is where I used to be a total skater dude, you know? It's perfect trails, smooth, yet slightly rough. Next to the water, that's important for the skater life. Swans, these guys are very important for the skater life. What's up dudes? There used to be a hill here, or maybe it's further down, I'm not sure exactly where, but it used to feel really damn steep on the skateboard. But now looking at it, I'd say, oh hey, oh there you go. But now looking at it, that guy was just pointing at his leg, he saw me with the arms, going, well, hey, hey, and then just kept pointing at his legs. Fine pair of legs you have on you. Yeah, but have you seen my legs? Have you? I had leg day yesterday. His, his legs might be a little bit better than me. He's, he's gone long ago. What up, dudes? They're my friends, I swear. I just walked down the wrong street by accident, and I had to walk by people twice, and they knew, they looked at me, and they knew straight away. That guy's stupid. He's got a stupid head. That guy's stupid. He's got a stupid head. That stupid head. Well, that one Euro 60 was well worth it, wasn't it? Just met two asshole swans. 
Okay, I've made it back to the hotel where Dad had his meeting. Has his meeting. He's finishing up in like 40 minutes. And I must say, I'm a bit tired. I'm a bit tired. I went into a shopping center for a little while and just walked around. I was bored out of my tree. And so I left. I know, great story there. Such is life. I'm back home. Ah, I didn't record the very last bit of the trip because, well, I got a call and the hard drive data can be received. The bad news is it's going to cost a lot. You got to do what you got to do. Max is rustling around there. She must be hungry. These guys, in all this sawdust, are Mario worms. They're like a hard-shelled crustaceous worm. Oops. There we go. These guys can bite. These guys, these guys are tough, but like, full of the good stuff. These are really, this is really good food for Max. Probably really good food for me as well. Insects are the way forward. Look at her licking her lips. But this is just, this is the last I talk of the hard drive. It can be recovered. Let's just put it behind us. Let's forget about it. But let me end on this note. The stuff on the hard drive is absolutely epic. There is no doubt about it. And so that data just can't simply be lost. It's got to be set free. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. And if you're new to this channel, subscribe. And I'll see you all tomorrow for another dose of dynamite.